Hi, this is Brother Barnes, and I want to talk to you a moment about the gel electrophoresis runs we do in my General One Biology Lab. We do gel runs in a small rectangular plastic box container. The container is filled with auger gel, and a plastic comb is positioned so that when the comb is removed, little pits or wells remain that can be filled with test dyes. A buffering ion solution is poured above the gel before the dye is injected below the liquid into the wells. The wells are located near the black anode end of the plastic box. We run the gels by placing a current about 75 volts across the box which runs through the gel buffering electrolyte, thus carrying the negatively charged test dyes from the negative end uh, anode which is black to the positive end cathode which is red. The size or mass of the molecule determines how far it travels. The variable distances traveled creates banding in the gel itself. In our experiment, known test dye colors, in this case yellow and red, are run in lanes different from the unknown test dye mixture sample. As the gel runs, the unknown dye splits apart. Here you can see a yellow band and a red band and often is it, it is easy to see the match to the known uh, test dye colors. Thus, revealing individual colors in the unknown mixed sample. This type of process is also used to compare unknown blood samples to known samples of victims and suspects to see if there is a DNA banding match in the gel run that matches the victim and suspect to the crime scene.